Hi there. As we are the Emerald Sorceress here, let's play cards. All right, Scorpio, let's see what signs might come out in the reading, what people's zodiac signs might be relevant. Aries, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Pisces, Sagittarius, Leo, Libra. All right. <clears throat> That's that. Let's see. Let's talk about Scorpio. What does Scorpio have going on? What's going on for the Scorpios? Let's see. Scorpio, blessed. Blessings. Gifts from spirit. A rebirth and regeneration and second chances and do-overs to co-create for someone here. To be fair, cause and effect, balance, justice, to ride the storm out with. What is this? Heat it up. Freedom from burdens and attachments here. Purging. Not freedom from attachments, just freedom from burdens. Sweeping away anything that you no longer need, getting rid of it. Pack it up, toss it out. Angel of love. The more you clean, the more open to love you will be. Action. You have to take the actions. Work together here to heal. I feel like each other. Or to recover from financial constraints here. Um, God, that's a lot of higher power. Like right by your side. Conscious contact with a higher power. It has to do with a home, most definitely. Cleaning out a home. Oop. Observer. A change in perspective. A natural observation point. Observing from a distance the regeneration. Somebody is watching, somebody manifests and try very hard to do things in a different way. See things in a different light, explore more, get themselves out there. Milk and honey. Ow. Lots of good things come with milk and honey. A taste of prosperity, joy and contentment. So let's see what's really going on here. Hmm. Let's have a look. Let's see here. Scorpio, what's going on for Scorpios? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. One more shuffle. All right, what is this grace here? Or bless? King of Cups. And the Hierophant, blessed with love, blessed by God, a gift from spirit here, emotional stability, a plan, making plans in a relationship here, doing the right thing, the King of Pentacles. So there's a lot of stabilizing here between money and emotions. A lot, two of pentacles. Somebody is trying very hard to maintain their growth. What is this? The Knight of Wands. The Page of Swords. Traveling. 
in and out irresponsible maybe that's it maybe it's stabilizing oneself from being irresponsible or flighty maybe even uh irrational or uh i don't want to say angry but impulsive Seems like you're thinking things through a lot more. You're taking the time to pull yourself out of a hole. The four swords and heal. We have some nervous energy too here. Page of Cups. Listening to your intuition. Might be some apologies here. Queen of Cups. What's this right here? Clean it up. Eight of Cups. Walk away from burdens. Leave things that are not emotionally satisfying. Four of Pentacles. Leave them. Seems like you've been holding on to them. Temperance. It's time to act fast. And more healing. The cat's having a meltdown over here because my earrings and the cards are all shining on the walls every time I move. Oh, God. It's all fired up. All right, what's this Eight of Cups and the Freedom from Burdens here? The Seven of Swords and the Ace of Wands and the Sun. I have another one. Two of Pentacles. And the Queen of Cups. Jeez. It looks like there's been a lot of uh, emotionally unfulfilling relationships here. Seven of Swords. If you always felt like robbed or stolen from or uh, shitty energy here. But there's a new beginning coming in here. Ace of Wands. A lot of excitement and passion. Two of Pentacles. Death. Can I have another one on the Two of Pentacles? Four of Pentacles. That's the Six of Pentacles. And I do feel like this is a quick idea to like free yourself from these burdens or to clean up. And it does happen fast here. All these things that you've been holding on to uh, weighing down your new beginning or your passion here. What is this, observer, please? A perspective from the distance. Three of swords. Oh, God. Temperance. Heart healing. About balancing the heart chakra here. Yeah, more heart chakra. Love. I feel like it's hard to love. Ten of swords, you feel like you've been there, done that, been hurt just way too many times. Death. And there's the transformation right there. Seven of pentacles. You're invested in transforming yourself. And maybe not just not even going towards these things that pain you. You won't even deal with people in general here, hermit. Can I have another one? The king of wands and the ten of wands. 
So action here, 10 of wands. I feel like you've been carrying this shit around for a long time. Whatever this is happened like a while ago too here with the king of wands. It's like the your actions that you took or you allowed people to treat you in some manner. You got your heart broken here. Maybe you thought it would never heal. And now more than ever, you're trying to release yourself from these burdens. Two of swords, six of pentacles, and strength. Like you deserve it. Somebody wants to give you something or give to you. Maybe that's like not a normal thing for you. I don't know. What's going on here with this uh, Archangel Uriel? The Akashic Records and Spirit Connection. Eight of Swords. Jail. Purgatory. A caged heart. Can I have another one? Ten of Cups. Maybe like you feel alone in your family. Eight of Swords. You could spend a lot of time alone or in your head here. You could... Be conversing with your intuition, two of swords, intuition. Maybe you don't even know you're doing this. But it's like the spirit connection is trying to walk you through the past in order to free yourself today. If it hurts, stop looking at it. I have another one. The Knight of Swords. And the Fool. So definitely on a journey. Uh, you are taking a leap of faith here to get what you want. Nine of Cups. And to move forward, Six of Swords. With the Ten of Pentacles here. This is a conscious choice that you are making or that you have already made and that you're working towards two or three of wands to get rid of the obstacles and the uh, past relationships that are plaguing you here. Message, messenger, empress, the wheel of fortune. There's the new perspective again on home and family and foundations. And being alone, some judgment on being alone. Let's see what else we got here. Let's have a look and see. Butterfly and metamorphosis. Rising up and reinventing oneself after problems, obstacles, one after another, after another. Relieving yourself from these obstacles here. I think at one time, the solitude, the indifference here, you were delaying things, very stubborn. This evolution of the soul has not been um, pleasant or easy for you. It's been a long process here. Baby steps. Spiritual growth. The time has come. A culmination of efforts, but it's like you're getting there. Step by step, there is progress here. Yes. And power. A lot of self-realization. Uh, looking and analyzing oneself here and directing your power in the correct direction. Taking pride in yourself, in your life. You feel like you have purpose now. The tree, that would be purpose as well. The compass, you're on your life path, your true life path, path. Planning, a lot of planning out here. Planning for a home, planning for a business. You are learning to ground yourself here. And take care of your health. More personal growth. Growth, 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 growth. It's a lot of growth. A lot. 
Oh, and maturity. They're like, oh, you like that? Grab this one too. Uh, yeah, an achievement and a development. I feel like uh, you should be proud of yourself here. All right, let's see. What's this freedom from burdens? Judgment. And tower. Uh, heed the call. A total transformation. Fundamental changes. Awakening. Surrendering to all these unknown things here that you're newly learning about. Guidance. You're being divinely guided to have certain experiences. And I feel like ego might be a little bit of a problem, but I feel like you maybe are working on that here. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune. Karma, fate, forces of the universe. Like you're on your destined path here. Signs and synchronicities, you should be seeing them all over the place. Give me another one. Key signs and synchronicities, the white wolf. And the element of fire. Passion, a lot of it. It's a lot of excitement, but there is still, you know, the ego floating around here. If your ego keeps you from doing things, uh, you need to trust your gnosis. You are resilient. There is this new beginning here. Again, these both are talking about being guided. Like forcefully guided. Concerning at home. Go to guy or girl. Belonging. I feel like finally belonging somewhere. Like a community with a group of people that you vibe with here. What is this going on here with this perspective or the change in perspective? After carrying around all this heartache and pain and heaviness for a long time. Communication. Aries, Emperor. Writing notes, records. Making contact. I feel like you might need to do like some cord cutting here. With the broom and the letter to remove unwanted stuff. Purging, cleaning, more cleaning. Res ah, total makeover. The stallion. Strong emotions here to break free. From the clover. Whatever, like, was in the past is not true to today here. I do feel like there's some unexpected person popping up, though, too. And I also feel like you're being rewarded, or you will be rewarded when you can cut some of these cords. What is this going on here? Ahead of the pact. Alpha male, motivated, the will to win. What is this? The spirit contact, the Akashic Records. What is Uriel doing here? Ugh. Magnet.
field of influence. You are attracting people like you, people in your tribe. Here's, um, I need to like, can you give me another one? The elephants in the compass, the true north, the discovery life path, uh, supportive, removing obstacles, have your wits about you, trust. Two holes make a hole. Je ne sais quoi. There's a certain vibe that you are attracted to. You've been looking for it for a long time. And Uriel has brought you and another person together here, which would probably be mutually beneficial. Harmonious happiness. Expressive love. Can I have another one? Mountain. And the cross. Destiny, spirituality, divine guidance, trials. And a snake. A magician. Fireworks and the dolphins. Something was counterproductive here. feel like this is a, an everyday thing that you have to work towards. Your new life, your new hopes and dreams here. All right, I got 1111, Twin Flame, High Priestess, Libra, a Cat, which we were just talking about, and Lifting Out of Negativity here. Conundrum. Double Rainbow. Divine intervention here. Heart chakra activation. A mirror. Yin and yang. The chariot's like yin and yang too. Inner knowledge. Whatever this is has not been easy to uh, get to where you are here. It's been a bumpy road. But this is like saying not to hold on to the negativity here with the hummingbird and the grasshopper. Moving on, the easy going here. A diamond ring. And allow trust divine timing, the Akashic records and the fireflies. Chemistry, 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 self-discovery, soul sparks here. Somebody very exceptional. So, let's see what else is going on. The library. Again with the Akashic Records and Occultist here. Some manuscript, maybe on how to do the cord cutting. Some sort of like pestilence, like an energy, it's just buzzing around you. Wizard, like I said, cord cutting. Oh boy, 
Somebody might need a vacation. Exposed criminality, gathering evidence. Globe. Stop the press, corruption, police procedure, a task force, breaking news, inside information, hot news about some scandal here having to do with the globe and the world. Maybe you just need to protect yourself here. Read up on how to do protection spells. Because once you start to shine bright, the darkness always wants to come and get you. As I say that, your soul, like your aura is glowing more. Meditate, spiritualism, astral traveling, a medium, karma. Ugh, it's going to chase you. Treasure. Shiny things. Shiny things here. Yeah. More diamonds leveling up. A statement of intent. A couple of these cards say marriage or some proposal. A gambler. Why are we looking at him? Because it's a haunted house. Bank account. Gold reserves. Bribing. A vault. Poker. Raising the stakes. Savage. Shadows and ghosts and psychic visions here. Demons, a wrath, paranormal investigator. This says funeral. Maybe somebody is around you that died suddenly or that was murdered. Loss of a loved one. A tragedy. Somebody around you is sad and it's uh, not, they're not alive here. Deities, they are not. And now you know that, intelligence. They're trying to get your attention. The darkest, man. It just wants to keep creeping in. You got to stay vigilant here. <clears throat> Castle, yeah. Protect your home. You need to learn how to put up energetic walls or, you know, an energetic moat or whatever your vision is to protect yourself and protect your home. Cut cords from some of these relationships, these old ones that you keep thinking about because there, there's, it's not necessary here. The outside of your house needs armor, not your heart. You know, your energetic field, but not your actual heart. You're trying to take that armor down while building the outside up. Labyrinth, save the world. Supposed to be sharing your gifts, <clears throat> or you do share your gift with someone. You can talk to someone, tel <coughs> telepathy. Maybe even get into some dreams, or you can go places. A mystic initiation here. It's like you, the red tape. You finally figured out something here. Explosion. You've been resisting this here for a long time. You didn't want to change. You didn't want to be better. You didn't want to do any of it here. But you have definitely learned some things. And you are going to continue to learn some things here. All right. They're throwing them on the floor. I feel like you might have a partner in crime here. I don't know that you're really committing crimes. But that's just what came to my head. Uh, Shut the fuck up. This is funny. Criminal organization. I just can't. That was pretty funny. Save the world. 
Global war and will you marry me? History is repeating itself here. Uh, Pandora's box has definitely been opened. There is no closing it. Uh, the future is looking pretty bleak here. Pretty bleak for because of this. I don't know, we're going to be invaded by aliens. So this is just artificial intelligence here. But these sleazy politicians and, you know, the government that wants to control the people when we control the government. That's so fucked up. Societal upheaval. So trying to heal and better yourself before all this, like, uh, energy builds up to be darker and more painful and more sad here because it is going to happen. Are you sure of it? Defeat supernatural evil. See, so you could have a haunted house, which is okay with me here, but they want to interact with you. Child. Maybe this person's been with you since you've been a child here. Hmm. More black magic and voodoo and shits here. The world's getting crazier and crazier. All right, what else do we have? Money is the root to all evil. Vibes don't lie. A lot of vibing. Yeah. If opportunity doesn't knock, build a door. When you're a threat, you're always a target. Karmic relatives. So these are all lessons here that you have to learn about the people that you have been put on this life, on this plane with. Listen to learn not to respond. Like zip it. If you have nothing nice to say, say nothing. You don't have to get all fired up about shit here when people don't understand. True love stories never have an end. It's a forever thing. And your ex is relevant. I kind of feel some uh, that somebody creeping. And I wasn't even going to talk about it because it didn't literally come out of the deck. I only kind of saw it in there. See, the Queen of Wands. That's exactly what I'm fucking talking about. That is the other woman. Y'all just see me just like pluck that out of the middle of the fucking deck of cards here. So whatever. Who really cares? I don't care. I'm not a Scorpio. The Lord your God who goes before you will himself fight for you. So you're being prepared here uh, for the end of time, it feels like. We mature with damage, not with years. No guts, no story, and the world and its desire are passing away, but for those who do the will of God, will live forever. So you're probably guaranteed another life. Oh, yay. Don't ever accept an apology from someone that just sucker punched you. So I don't know if it's past women, or it does say your ex is relevant. So some things about that are not healthy, and you got to let go of them. When the job is done, walk away. Success is not for the lazy. You got to get up and do it. People have only as much liberty as they have the intelligence to want and the courage to take. <sighs> if it seems like someone's out to get you, they are. Oh, somebody's like putting some bad vibes out there about you. Just saying. Just saying. The real voyage of discovery consists not in seeking new lands, but in seeing it with new eyes. And that's what you have been doing, is trying to look at the world a little bit differently. Marcel Proust. At least in the way that you approach it, or don't approach it. Uh, names and initials might be relevant. What are we at? 34 minutes. Yikes. Girl can talk. All right, let's see what else we got. Your hot chocolate was on the bottom there. Authority. Maybe somebody didn't like authority here. Emotional withdrawal. Or somebody is making the choice here to take charge and take control here and 
go towards the light instead of being pulled down by the darkness. It was a conscious choice, choose wisely here, to open your crown chakra. And it took coming into a connection with someone here, foundations and achievements, in order to achieve that. And then in comes all these great, wonderful things that you're not used to. And so I feel like, for a lack of a better fucking term right now, you get triggered. Conflict and defeat. It's like you don't want to go back there. You have material and spiritual prosperity. So if you don't want to go back there, stop looking at it. Triumphant success. Positive movement forward. Obstacles and challenges. They're going to arise all the time, but I feel like your attitude here is making things easier to deal with. The truth. Harmony and temptation. Heart chakra. So I feel like this is... Uh, you're like in love with justice as far as like the world goes, uh, cause and effect, right and wrong, black and white, like you want to know about it, you want to learn about it, you want to participate in it, you love your country, you have a great affliction for Mother Earth here. There is some partnership here that is like, I want to say like bound, bondage balance bound by not even earthly laws here but the angel like these hearts are connected what the fuck is going on here and like the mirror image like you found your yin to your yang here Golden orange dragon expands your knowledge for, no, expand your light for ascension. Be a peaceful warrior. Help those in need. Remember your magnificent, magnificence. Fucking Mercury in retrograde, I'll tell you. Nothing's coming out right. Nothing. Magenta dragon enables you to bring forward your soul wisdom awaken your soul memories and higher spiritual understanding prepare for an accelerated ascension yep that's what we're talking about thor's red and black dragon red black and gold dragon protects you in time of change here time of rapid transition and transformation relax you are safe that's because you're going to figure out how to protect your space and your energy here Oh, wow. it's a lot of dragons. Omega dragon. Harness the divine feminine power of creation. Intention. Hold your vision. Birth the higher consciousness. So, something new. You're going to birth something new. Passion. With all this new passion that you have here. And inspiration. Love, sexual energy, passion aroused, vital life force, kindalini, the sun, the giver of life, strength, a gift, a new infusion of energy, something beyond your control. Surrender here, alchemy. Magic and manifesting here. There's also two faces in that one too, connected by one. By the Akashic Records, by Uriel. It's so almost like a ceremonial. What the fuck is going on here? As the rings are on the last deck here. Electra, like something real fast. Your inner light shines when you're at peace with yourself and the world around you. Let go of the struggle and feel the beauty inside you. Allow all to just be and you just be you. Live in the moment. Let go of the past. There there is no point in worrying about the future. A wonderful opportunity exists today. Take it. Electricity, thunderbolt, activation. Yeah, heart activation and a crown chakra, chakra cleanup. I, I can't talk. 
You're subconsciously co connected with that awesome power that lies in the energy of the stars. Intergalactic transmission from a place beyond time. Time. A message is coming. Be open-minded here. Ancient and sacred knowledge is waiting within the heart of the earth, yearning to be discovered. Crystals hold the key. Connect energetically with the earth and our crystal realm. Healing love and abundance on earth. This is so funny. I was thinking about this card when I was driving earlier because I was talking about being cloaked and rewarded and like crowned and shit, which a ceremony. What are we even talking about here? Something fictitious, but really real. Can't explain it to people. You might sound a little crazy. Royal blue and gold dragon strengthens you to stand in your power with wisdom. Awaken to your own majesty. Wear your cloak of power with pride. One more. Lots of dragons. So many of us like dragons. Water dragon helps you flow easily around obstacles. Christ, light, lo and love are flowing. Develop your psychic abilities and go with the flow. Stop fighting yourself. What does that say? Intention with a big heart on it. Do not lose sight of your original intention. Check inside your heart to see if the path you're traveling fits with your original hope, hopes and aspirations. If not, take action, take control, and steer yourself back on course. All right. That's all I got for today. Bye, Scorpio.